Okay, in this video, we're going to be discussing more practical SEO, which will be helping you to make your website visible without having to have more technical or extensive technical knowledge. And this is video six, and we're going to be talking about WordPress plugins. And now, in particular with SEO, you want to make sure that you understand the plugin system because the plugin system will help you to customize your site for SEO again without having to know lots of complicated coding language now you'll want to learn a little bit about plugins in this video now what plugins do is it is they customize the functionality of WordPress in particular they make WordPress do things that you may want your site to do that would be impossible to do if you didn't if you didn't know coding or CSS or HTML and plugins allow you to at the push of a button change how your site functions and how it works now there are lots of plugins on the market and I'll show you that in a minute and some are paid and some are free most of the plugins on the WordPress market are going to be free or in some cases they may ask for a donation of some kind but they don't require it so you'll be able to change some of the functionality in your WordPress site by getting additional plugins. Now, a word that uh, needs to be said here about free versus paid versus free plugins. In particular, you'll want to make sure that the plugin that you're getting is being supported by the person who's actually the creator of the plugin and that they're keeping up with the changes that WordPress actually does in their updates. So in other words, we talked about WordPress updates and we talked about the fact that you want to make sure that you see those updates are being accounted for in your plugins and your themes. Now if the person that you're either buying or getting the plugin from doesn't, doesn't support the changes, you want to be careful about putting that plugin on your site because you don't want to start basically helping your 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 website to function in a way that will be beneficial at one point but not be beneficial at another point so now let's move on in terms of plugins now one way to look for the plugins that you'll need is to is to search through WordPress and I'll show you that here in a minute what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the WordPress site that we already set up and I'm actually gonna go inside of the admin panel here now when you're looking for a WordPress plugin what you're going to do is you're going to go to add a new plugin and what WordPress does is it will allow you to search for plugins that you will need in order to customize your particular website. So in this case, it's pretty important that you, at the very least, have a working knowledge of the plugin system so that you'll be able to make the changes that you'll need. Now, here's what we're going to do in order to set up WordPress for SEO we are going to need a certain number of plugins and I'm going to tell you what those plugins are and what you'll need to do is you'll need to actually go to your WordPress site and you'll need to search for them through WordPress and then make the changes so that's why you'll need to understand how to do this through the search plugin area so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to type in the all-in-one SEO plugin. So that's the first one that you'll want to type in the box. And what this is going to do is this is going to help you to be able to literally set up everything that you're going to need for SEO with one WordPress plugin. Now I'm going to go back there. We'll have to do that again.
Okay, and you'll see it right here. All in one SEO pack. All you're going to do is you're going to click the install now link, click OK, and then click activate plugin. Now you'll notice that the all in one SEO pack is going to need to be configured. But we're going to actually literally install another plugin. We're going to click Add Now. And we're going to install the Akisamet plugin. Now, typically, in some installations, you'll already have that installed. So let's check to see if we already have an Akisamet installed. We do. So we do not have to go and get a Kizamet and install it. All we have to do is activate it. Right? And you'll notice there that a Kizamet is going to need some configuration from you, just as the all-in-one SEO pack is going to need from you. The next plugin that we're going to want to install or need to install is we're going to need to install the Google XML sitemap plugin. So we're going to type in Google XML sitemap plugin. And there we see the Google XML sitemap plugin right there. And we're just going to click install now to install that plugin. We're going to activate it. Now, now that we have all of our plugins activated, what we're going to do is we're going to go to each link and we're going to configure each one. A Kizamet's going to need an Akizamet API key. And a Kizamet will need you to go and actually get a key. And you'll go to this link to get your Akizamet key. I'm going to go back to my dashboard. We're going to go back to the all-in-one SEO pack. And in order to activate the all-in-one SEO uh, uh, pack, you're going to need to put in your name and email address or your email address here in order to in order to get it moving. Actually, all you'll really need to do, you actually don't need to do that. All you need to do is you'll need to just click the enable to enable it. And then you'll put in the pertinent information. You'll put in whatever the title of your website is. You'll put your description there. And then you'll put in the keywords that are going to be central to your SEO for this website. Very easy to set up. So instead of having to put all this code in there, you'll be able to set up and customize all of this information for your website. Okay, and so once you have installed those plugins and that you have customized them to your uh, particular taste, then you are actually uh, complete with your WordPress setup for SEO. And the next video, we're going to talk about WordPress themes. So with that, thanks, and I will see you in the next video.